friends, welcome back to my channel. It is time for us to do a massive July unboxing. I have three different boxes here that I'm gonna go ahead and show you the contents of. I'll leave timestamps down below in case you prefer or care about just one of these versus all three, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with my julep box. So as is becoming more common, I once again forgot to skip my julep month for July and so it ended up shipping to me. It came in a larger box than usual and that is because they are launching their Rethink Your Shower. This is a hydrating body cleansing oil. I am someone who typically does not like oils. I just don't particularly love the texture on my skin. Like case in point, whenever I go to get a massage, I intentionally will come home and shower afterwards because I hate the feeling of the oil on my skin. But who knows, we'll see if this is any better. It came with a pump and then a seal. I think that's really smart packaging on their end to include it that way because then you don't have all the worry of like the mess and leakage. So I'm definitely gonna try this out. I'm not sure if this is one of those body wash oils where you're supposed to use it in place of having to then use a body lotion. If that's the case, I may end up liking it, but I'm not sure. I'll test it out and I'll let you guys know. There were also two jewel tone polishes is in here that I actually really like. The first is in Jacinda. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's this really vibrant violet um, metallic shade. I definitely think when I go to get a pedicure, I might end up putting this on my toes. I love metallic purples and metallic blues on my toes, which is why I'm also torn about potentially putting uh, Chandra on there as well. This is also a really like bright, vibrant, metallic blue color. I think these are two awesome shades to get in the summertime. So again, despite me not expecting or necessarily wanting this box, I do really like the shades in here. So I am not disappointed at all. The next box that I have is the newly packaged fortune cookie soap FCS of the month box. Um, I love the cute saying on here, we didn't choose the soap life, the soap life chose us. I ended up getting their Jurassic Park themed box. I just really was intrigued by this. The collection is just really fun. It's called The Park is Open and I'll show you guys the contents of the box. Because the sayings and the explanations of these are so fun, I'm just gonna go ahead and read them to you. The first thing we have is the Spare No Expense Body Milk. They describe this as a creation is an act of sheer will and you can bet that we have spared no expense in this product which combines perfect summer scents of island bergamot and lemon which mingle with heady notes of orange blossom kissed by Isla Nablar Sea Mist. I really like the scent of this, but I'm not entirely sure how body milks work or how they're different from body lotions or from body wash. It says in here that it provides dry skin with intensive care with a rich and creamy formula that intensely nourishes to reduce the feeling of rough or dry skin. Um, it says it's like their body frosting or whipped cream lotion. So I guess it's like a lotion, but I'll be curious to try this out. The smell of this is like a really good sort of milky, sea breezy scent. I don't know. I just really enjoy it. I think it's a really relaxing scent, especially in the summertime. The next thing we have is the perfume oil in Clever Girl. It says, watch your six. Raptor's got a new alpha and it's this amazing and clever fruity floral blend that uses coordinated attack patterns and is out in force today. And it slashes at you with the sense of strawberry jam, apple rose, rose petal sand, and vanilla bean. To be clear, this smells a lot like the um, rose jam from Lush, which I am loving. This is definitely something that I will mix with lotions. I don't particularly like the feeling of perfume oils. I just find that they're like somewhat messy and I just don't like the texture on my skin, but they work really well mixed in with lotion and I love the rose jam scent from Lush. So really happy to have this in here. I would have loved this particular scent in a body lotion. They also included in here an exfoliating body wash. Personally, I don't know how that is super different from a regular exfoliating scrub or like a foaming sugar scrub, but they included it in here and they have the scent preserved in amber. They describe this as the FCS scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not we could that we didn't stop to think whether we should. Who are we kidding? Of course we should. This gorgeous exfoliating body wash is perfectly preserved in amber with a prehistoric scent blend of rich amber, pink jasmine, mandarin, and tropical cassis berries. I 
am okay on this scent. To me, it smells like a, like a generic floral soap type scent. I'm not super keen on it, but I will be curious to at least try out what their exfoliating body wash is like compared to their sugar scrubs or the other scrubs that I've tried from them in the past. Next up, they included Water Ripples Toilet Bombs, which I think is a really cute name for this particular product. It says, can anybody hear that? It's a, it's an impact tremor, it's what it is. I'm fairly alarmed here, and there may be times when you have a T-Rex size stench to cover up. So hold onto your butts and watch the water ripples as each toilet bomb plops into the porta potty with scents of ode, sea minerals, and dark cedar wood. I actually really like the scent of this. Yeah. I think this is gonna be perfect for cleaning up like the smell of like a room if you have any lingering scent. But I also wonder about the packaging of this. It seems like it's gonna be messy. I've heard people in some of the Facebook groups that I'm in for Fortune Cookie Soap that there have been complaints that this is a really messy packaging for what it is, but I don't care. I'm not someone who's gonna go out and buy these anyways, but I will at least get use out of it from my box. They also included, and I'm really intrigued about, a shaving cream in Cairo can. It says, you didn't say the magic word. Use this soft and delicate new formulated product to smuggle away dino dry skin and with a colorful scent of melody of summer squash upon fresh tilled garden earth and dewy leaves. I'm not like the biggest fan of this particular scent, but it's a shaving cream, so I'm not that worried about it. I am curious to see how the packaging and the product holds up in the shower because typically I'm used to some kind of can. I'm not accustomed to having a pot like this, but I will say that I feel like this will last me a really long time. It seems like quite a bit of shaving cream to include, which I'm happy about, but it just seems like a weird format to have it in a tub. Then we have this car freshener in Must Go Faster. You just gotta get those bad scents out of here and you must go faster and cover up with fresh invigorating scents of orange rind, thyme, lemon glass, lemongrass and avocado. It's a fresh new smell that hides bad scents of sweaty, muddy people you've been driving around all day. This is perhaps one of my favorite scents so far in the box. It just has a really refreshing and pleasant citrus note. The last product that we have is the Moroccan Oil Hair Detangler in the scent Life Finds a Way. It says, God creates dinosaurs, God destroys dinosaurs, God creates man, man destroys God, man creates dinosaurs, dinosaurs eat men, and fortune freaks inherit the earth with exotic scents of juicy apricot and nectarine with smooth base notes of white oak and sandalwood. I am a little confused exactly on what this is, Ooh, love the scent of it though. They say like on the one hand, this is meant to be a detangler, but on the other hand, Moroccan oil is more like a hair oil. So I feel like it's really just a hair oil that maybe has some detangling properties. I really don't need a hair oil in my life, but I definitely am excited about the scent and will probably get use out of it sometime in the future. I may try it out just for fun right now, but I'm really not using a whole lot of hair oils because I'm using so much other product in my hair while I am in like hair scrunching season but maybe that'll change once winter fall time comes around. Overall, I really enjoyed that box. I think it was a really fun theme. I have skipped out on the August box, but I might buy the September one because they are doing a Grease Lightning theme, which I think is a really fun theme. And for me, I get hooked on their themes more than I get hooked on like getting the box every single month. The last thing that I have is a first and last. I'm really kind of sad about it. As you guys know, I've been getting more and more into vendor wax, and I had heard a lot of good things about the She Loves Cake company, but I hadn't really pursued anything. I was kind of overwhelmed. There was a lot of wax that I had coming in and I wasn't going to buy anymore, but I was at least in the She Loves Cake Facebook group. And I want to say back maybe in like May, I happened to see coming across my feed a post from the owner of She Loves Cake explaining that she was going to close down and that she was going to do one more monthly box. It was going to take her a really long time to put it out, but if we wanted it, this was the time to get it. And it was Harry Potter themed. And I thought, one, I've always wanted to try this wax and now the company's closing, so I better jump on it. And then two, I I love the idea of a Harry Potter box and I wasn't like jumping at the chance to get wax. So a long wait time didn't bother me. So I went ahead and bought the Harry Potter sampler and I wasn't gonna show this to you guys because you, I don't think she's in business anymore. I could very well be wrong, but I will leave her Facebook page down below or her website just in case she is still functional. 
Um, but the stuff in here was so cute that I wanted to at least share it. So inside, she included this little note. It says, enjoy your Harry Potter box. This is the last ever themed box from She Loves Cake. I hope you love it. I had a blast making everything for you and I truly feel this is the best box I've ever made. You'll notice an extra melt inside. Don't be cutting it before you melt it. You'll ruin the surprise. I'd love to know what you think of the box, stickers, wax, etc. Thank you for being such an awesome customer. Enjoy. And then it says, um, Sherry. So the first thing she included were the Harry Potter Birdie Bots beans. This, I just think is really fun. They have, you know, all these crazy kooky flavors. So definitely going to enjoy eating these. Then you can see there's a ton of wax in here. I don't remember exactly what I paid for this, but I do recall thinking when I got this box, this was like a ton of wax for the price. First one that we have is Voldemort. It says the blackest black licorice and crunchy butter cookies. I just feel like the description or the sense that she chose for each one of the characters is oddly really fitting and I think that the stickers and labels on here are so freaking adorable. The next up we have is Luna Lovegood sparkly ginger ale and fresh strawberry cake. There is Dobby homemade banana bread and cornbread muffins. Hermione Granger cinnamon trust leches cake with creamy coconut icing. There is Sirius Black Apple Pie Caramel Home Churn Vanilla Ice Cream. Hogsmeade Giant Frosty Mugs of Frothy Creamy Butterbeer. Harry Potter Almond Cookies Chocolate Caramel Mocha Latte. Ron Weasley Strawberry Shortcake and Sugared Buttercream. Dumbledore Chewy Oatmeal Cookies with Sticky Marshmallow Frosting. Draco Malfoy, vanilla cake, vanilla custard, vanilla cream frosting. I was a little surprised by how sweet his scents are because he is much more of a darker, villainous character. I have Severus Snape, honey gingerbread, candy ginger, brown butter frosting. Rubius Hagrid, homemade bear claws and fresh blueberry cobbler. And then the last melt that we have is the sorting hat. It says, which house will you be in? Harvest apple, cranberry, and eggnog celebration cookies. So based on what you melt, when you melt this, you'll see a color, which will denote what house you belong in. So I think that's really, really fun, and I'm excited to have that. There are also some other items that are included in here. The other non-wax item that we have is called Hedwig. It's a body and room spray with quartz crystals. It says vanilla mini cake topped with orange dreamsicle bar. I don't necessarily love this scent, but I will use it as a room spray. She also included a rainbow candy cane in here. Is this a candy cane if it's not shaped like a cane? Oh, sorry, they call it a candy stick. Okay. We also got some stickers. She gave us two of these, which I think would be really, really cute to put on a laptop. And then we got some more stickers as well. So I think this is freaking adorable. Like what a way to go out on such a high note. I really hope that she decides to come back into business at some point. And if she does, I will probably be more apt to pick up more boxes from her because these are really, really awesome and cute. I hope that the wax performs well. The cure date on these was 620 and today is mid July. So I'm hoping that I give it enough cure time. I have so much wax to melt through that it could be a little bit longer before I start to work on these, but I'm really Really happy with this particular theme. All right, guys, that is it for my July unboxings. If you had a favorite out of all the things that I picked up, let me know in the comments below, and I'll talk to you in my next video real soon. Bye.